Ma pytwi. Come on, let him walk! Let him walk! Let him walk! He's healed! If you don't live today, you'll die tomorrow. Yasin Sheriff, a UK citizen of Pakistani origin, visited Sri Lanka with his beautiful family for the first time. Yasin, who could barely sit up, was brought to the altar for ministration by the prophet of God, Prophet Joel Fernandez. Things like this don't usually happen to anybody. In an uncovered edus what could be the cause of all these sufferings? Prophet Jerome began unveiling the root cause. Listen carefully to what he says. You mentioned Pakistan. You mentioned UK. But the altar that I'm seeing is in the middle of India. That is controlling a bloodline, which we are going to deal with tonight. How can an altar in India be connected to this UK citizen of Pakistani descent? What is it? His parents are from Kashmir. Wow. His parents are from Kashmir. This is a curse following him. Look, this is a matter of life and death. Witness the bold statement made by the man of God. If you don't live today, you'll die tomorrow. It is so serious. I need him to lie down here. The operation has to be done. His faith is going to heal him today. I rebuke the spirit of death now. Out of his life. I release fire on that altar. No controlling power over him. My husband get get the answer. Husband, he tell me that I'm in the Vishwasing Mang. After my husband, I reckon now. By reason of her faith, by reason of what she believes, I decree and declare: this spirit of death has left him. In the name of Jesus. Lelo vrete na moye divas. When this oil hits your head, something has happened in Kashmir. You see what's happening to his eyes? This is the deliverance right here. In the name of Jesus, that altar in Kashmir, I bring it down by fire. Elemen kradika pahe govos. Zol prendelesh to higher. Breathe. Lungs. Open up. In the name of Jesus. You spirit of infirmity, you are gone. The frequent fainting attacks will not come again. Come up with me. Look how he expresses his amazement to his wife about the instant relief he experienced. What do you want to say? I just say thank you for saving my life. Wow. Hallelujah! We were so helpless. I believe in Jesus. I believe in Prophet. And what the healing he did was true. My husband experienced it. No one was able to help. The doctors were not able to help. But Prophet helped us that day. And we were here. Uh, we believe in, uh, just like we believe in Jesus. We believe in all the work that Prophet is doing. We wanted to come here to show our gratitude and to say thank you personally for saving my husband's life and uh, for because we are going back to our normal life. I am not a special man. I just believed God and love Him more than you. Etel gobrungte et geveleke deveo sevia. Ratus element kavahais. Prophet Jerome. More than just words.